Hey everybody, what is going on? It's Andrew Murray here, and I'm gonna show you how you can start using Drip to supercharge your email marketing. Okay, so one of the things that you should know is I've been an Aweber customer for over 10 years, and they have a list-based system. Where email is going now is really towards more segmentation, and that works much better with a tag-based system. So Drip is a tag-based system, Aweber is a list-based system, um, and one of the problems with Aweber is, you know, if someone's on five different lists or 10 different lists, which, you know, if you've had Aweber for a while, you know, that's a real possibility. Um, then what happens is they charge you for each time that person's on the, on the list. So if one email address is on 10 of my different lists, well, I'm charged for 10 different subscribers. So you can see how that can compound over time. Um, the other thing is there's some great... You know, Drip is much more flexible, uh, much more fluid for creating workflows. And let's face it, I mean, now, you know, you don't just have, because because you when you're building a list, you don't always just want to get people on a new list, create a whole new uh, email sequence for that, which is what you need to do with Aweber. With Drip, what you can do is once someone uh, takes an action, and that could be, you know, click a link on an email, um, you know, visit a certain page, whatever it may be, then you can start a sequence. You don't need to add them to a list. So for example, um, if someone clicks on a link and say, yes, you know, I'm interested in, you know, X, Y, Z, let's say Bitcoin, for example, then no matter what other sequences that person is in, I don't need to add them to a different list. I can just get them into that workflow. So they start going through the sequence and, it's, it's a lot more flexible. Finally, um, Drip is free for 100 subscribers. And I really like that because I think new people starting out, you know, if they were going to ask me, where should I start? You know, I would say start with, with Drip because you're going to be much happier long term and it's going to be more effective for your email marketing. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to click try Drip for free. And we're going to sign up and see how this all works. Okay. So I'm just going to add that to last pass. And it'll just say, what are you currently using? And I'll just put uh, uh, drop down. All right, let's see here. Uh, other, um, let's say Aweber, current list size, and then put in uh, payment information, okay? And we'll just uh, pop that in there. Okay, so now we're going to go to the next step. All right, so once you sign up, you're going to see your JavaScript code, and you can put this on every page of the website. Again, because this is going to allow you to trigger something, let's say if someone goes to a certain page on your website, right? So someone goes to the contact form or someone goes to, you know, a sales page or something that you have a webinar on, or let's say ClickFunnels, um, you know, you, you have someone that's on a certain page for a certain amount of time, well, you can hit them with the sequence and put them in right now. So there's a manual code, um, there's WordPress, uh, which you can um, install the plugin, and uh, this is the plugin here, and there's your account ID, and you can use segment as well. So I'm going to skip this step for now. Okay, and uh, what, what we're going to do is, uh, so there's a bunch of things you can do. Import your list, connect your marketing stack, automate, collect leads, send emails, explore. Okay, so I would start with the, uh, with the explore. So what you can do is um, you go to email setup. You know, usually when I'm setting up something, you know, I'm going to go to the uh, to the uh, account settings, and you can see the account settings here, uh, integrations. I'm just going to pop in the integrations real quick, and you can see all these integrations, all these things that integrate with uh, Drip. 
And that's the other thing, you're gonna find a lot more uh, services that really connect with this, uh, which is great. So again, you know, what this does is this can connect and if someone, you know, is watching your video, then you can perform actions on them, uh, which is awesome. Okay, so um, you wanna set everything up, uh, powered by drip, okay, that's fine. And uh, click on your site setup, okay. Uh, members, you can invite someone here if you want. Uh, but what we gotta do is set up the email settings. Um, so this isn't allowed, uh, you can't use a, a Gmail address, you need to actually have a real email address, which is good because that's actually gonna help your deliverability. So I'm gonna set that up uh, a little bit later, and but that's the first thing that you want to, uh, to set up. Uh, you'll see the unsubscribe uh, links here, um, and what this allows you to do is to display the subscription management page so they can choose, uh, which is probably better, uh, because then they can see, hey, maybe I'm on a buyer's list or, or that sort of thing. Uh, resend confirmations. Uh, what, what happens is Drip will automatically resend a confirmation if the subscriber doesn't open it in two days. Uh, so you want to turn that on. Reply tracking. Uh, it tracks email opens and clicks automatically. And if you want to track when subscribers reply to your emails, uh, which is great because if you say in your email, hey, reply to me and someone replies, that helps your deliverability, um, all that good stuff. So we want to uh, add that uh, as well. Uh, Google Analytics. Um, this is is kind of how it sets up. So again, you know, this fits into UTM code. So if you're using that in your marketing, um, that makes a lot of sense. So uh, you want to turn that on. Sending domain. Um, so they're, they're through high high reputation sending domains. Uh, so you can actually uh, do that and you can send it through your own domain if you uh, if you want to do that. That's more of an advanced feature. Uh, snippets, this, these are like tags that you can apply to any email, okay? So for example, you can create a snippet and basically have like a, you know, a footer that you use. So you can kind of add images, um, you know, just kind of make it nice and then you can just add this and just boom, click it in, uh, put it in just, just one time. And then expiring links, um, you can actually have the link expire and then instead of going to, to you know page expired or something, you can actually send it to something else. Uh, so that is uh, another cool feature. Here's the integrations. Um, under here, you'll see groups. So this is a way to organize your campaigns, forms and workflows. So you can basically create little boxes um, to help, help, uh, help you get organized. Templates, um, this is basically what you wanna send in, a, in an email. Um, you don't wanna have a lot of raw HTML stuff, uh, but you can add to the uh, HTML if you want. But basically you want something that's you know nice looking, easy to read, that kind of stuff. Um, a lot of, you know, uh, I guess they're, they're paleo people here, uh, a lot of paleo uh, references in the preview. Lead scoring is another nice thing. Um, so lead scoring, uh, you can update it. Basically what happens is someone goes to a certain page, they can get points. Um, so, and they can also get negative points too. Email engagement, they get points, track custom events, all that kind of stuff. So, um, and this is a lead threshold. So once a certain, once a subscriber gets to be a certain level, then they move from just basic subscribers to uh, a lead, okay? So the point of this is really, um, you know, to allow you to look at your hot leads, right? So this is something you can't do in something like Aweber, um, but you can see, hey, this guy's, you know, been clicking on a lot of emails, engaging, going to the pages and stuff. And so that's someone you can look up in your CRM and start connecting with them through multiple channels, right? So maybe you can look up, see if they're associated with a Facebook profile and then connect with them on Facebook, you know? Um, and that's how you kind of can become omnipresent. This is extremely powerful also if you have a small list, right? So if you're just starting out, you have a small list, this is gonna be uh, incredibly effective uh, for you to, uh, to enable the lead scoring. 
Webhooks are um, an advanced feature, uh, so we're not going to get into that. And then uh, here we have campaigns. Uh, so this is basically, you know, allow you to make a campaign. Broadcasts are, um, you know, one-time emails. The really nice thing about a broadcast is uh, with this is you can, uh, you know, you want to save your recipients and stuff, all that kind of thing. But you can make your email and then uh, when you send it, uh, you can send it uh, a test version. Uh, you can auto-generate the, the plain text, which is uh, which is very effective as well. Um, but when you actually send this, it's not going to let me send it yet. Um, but basically, it's going to allow you to resend automatically in two days to the unopens. So what that means is, without you doing a single extra thing, you can actually uh, just the people that have not opened, they're going to get that. Um, they're going to get that uh, uh, that email again, and you can change the subject line, uh, which is really cool. Very, very cool. Um, so again, you know, this is kind of the main difference. So rather than people being on different lists, you can actually filter them based on all these things. So you can look at the ones that are leads. You can look at the ones that are that are that are tags. Um, you know, that have had you know a certain. Uh, email activity or certain inactivity. And what this allows you to do is to really be more effective at uh, your online marketing. Okay. Um, they also have some pruning operations. So you can unsubscribe, you know, automatically if they haven't um, done anything. Okay. Uh, haven't clicked anything. And you can customize all that. So here's forms, uh, automation, your workflow, and your rules. And this is where the magic happens, and then your uh, analytics, you can see all kinds of, of, of analytics, okay? So an opt-in form, um, this is, uh, we can just make uh, uh, an opt-in form here, create a form, and put in the, uh, the fields that you want, okay? Uh, so email address is required, and you can add uh, different fields as well. Okay, um, so that's pretty much how um, how it works. And again, I think once you get the hang of it, you're going to see a whole lot of uh, watch these these help videos. You're going to see a huge amount of benefit from starting uh, with this, and you know then you can kind of really scale up and build your marketing the right way. So once again, it's 2018. You need to be having a tag-based autoresponder system uh, like Drip. And, you know, I've been playing around with Drip, really happy with it. So um, give it a try. And also, uh, as you're thinking about it, you can actually move some of your old list over to Drip once you uh, see the power of it and, you know, how much more effective your email marketing is. All right, so I hope that was helpful. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.